Hello everyone, my name is Timothy Thrush. I am a knowledge expert at Micro Center in Houston. Today I want to talk a little bit about um, optimizing a solid state drive uh, in Windows 7. Solid state drives, as you know, are very fast. Um, and they also, like everything else, have a lifespan. Uh, the lifespan on a solid state drive is dependent upon how much it is used, how much it's written to. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you a couple of things you can do to uh, make sure that the lifespan of your drive uh, is optimized. Um, the first thing uh, that you can do if you go to start uh, and you go to control panel and then you go to administrative tools, you go to services, um, scroll down and find superfetch. Superfetch is essentially a caching service. Um, that while it may speed up some systems with uh, slower hard drive, mechanical hard drives, it's not necessary on a solid state drive. And as I said, it'll only shorten the lifespan. So disabling that, um, in my opinion, is a good idea. Um, one of the other things as well um, that you can do, and this is more of a uh, opinion thing. Um, however, it's something that I do on my solid state drive. If you go, if you go to start and you right click, or go to computer and right click on computer and go to properties, go to advanced system settings and then system protection. Um, system restore is a function I know people have used in the past, um, and like I said, this is more of a preference thing. Uh, system restore will eat up space on your solid state drive, and as you most likely know, solid state drive space comes at a premium, uh, the capacity. So disabling this will save space as well as um, save some of those write cycles. Um, Windows 7 essentially creates a system restore point every time every time something inside the uh, inside Windows is changed. So when you do Windows updates and stuff like that, um, disabling it uh, will save your your solid state a little bit. However, it will not. Uh, if you ever need to do Windows uh, system restore, it, it won't work anymore. Um, it's something that will extend the lifetime of your drive, however, um, it is a bit of danger behind uh, disabling that server. I just want to make you aware of that. Uh, one of the less dangerous and more simple things that you can do is download a utility called SSD Tweaker. Um, I found it on a site called Tweaktown, and it's just www.tweaktown.com. Um, this utility makes it a little it makes it simple to tweak your solid state drive um, as well as it allows you to easily check for your trim status in Windows so in this utility you can kind of see uh, by pressing F9 it will allow you to check your trim status so if you press, press F9 it shows you that trim on my system is enabled um, it also has a few other things here you can see disabling superfetch is one of the tweaks um, there are a few other options underneath uh, the Windows XP Vista 7 tweaks. Um, I've always found auto tweak settings to work well. However, if you're comfortable, uh, you can go through and kind of pick and choose what you want to enable and disable. Um, so that is one of the utilities that is useful for solid state drives. Um, one of the other things as well that has had a little bit of controversy online as to whether you need it or don't, whether it's necessary to the solid state drive, is AHCI. Um, AHCI is, uh, in my opinion, um, a good idea to have enabled. Uh, this is a feature that will uh, guarantee that the features on your solid state drive, all the advanced features such as trim um, and all the caching, uh, is enabled. Um, there's really no reason not to enable it except that if you enable it after you've already installed Windows on a hard drive that is IDE mode or any other legacy mode enabled, uh, it'll blue screen. So it is something, if you're going to enable AHCI, it is something you have to do prior to installing Windows. Uh, there are a lot of resources online. As I mentioned earlier, Tweak Town is one of them. Uh, if you just go into Google or Yahoo or Bing and type SSD optimization, um, there are quite a few resources online that I uh, recommend uh, taking a look at. At least it'll 
uh, make you a little more comfortable with your solid state drive, uh, let you know the limitations and how to best care for it. Again, my name is Timothy Thrush. I'm a knowledge expert at Micro Center Houston, and thank you for watching.